All right, so Mardu Energy. This is a list that I've been tinkering with a lot, uh, especially with Nightmare. I have actually one like right down here called Mardu Nightmare, which looks pretty similar to this other Mardu Energy list, but it's got more like Flage and Nethergoif and DRC Bobble Focus stuff. Whereas the Pro Tour one is more just a mid range deck. Not messing around with the Bobbles, not messing around with the DRCs, the Nether Goyfs, or really even being a Graveyard Synergy deck. We're just a mid range deck for the most part. I got four copies of Goddess Holes, three copies of Static Prison, four Thought Seas, four Discharge, four Ragavan, which is interesting. I think Ragavan's probably worse than Ocelot Pride now, but I guess we're still playing Ragavan. See how good it is. Uh, four copies of Ajani, two Nightmares as Recursion for the Ajani, for the Bowmaster, for the Amp Raptor. I guess you could sack the Amp Raptor because you already got value out of it. But two copies of Nightmare, super sweet, love this card. Along with Flage, it's also really good. Uh, four copies of Fable, which I think is interesting. Only two Flages, four Fables. I really like Fable and Flage together because you get to discard the Flage to the Fable and then uh, escape it sooner. Pretty sweet. Uh, it's just a very stock, like... Mardu Pyromancer esque mid range deck, just a lot of interaction and removal, good creatures, value cards. It seems sweet. I'm excited to play it. Let's look at the sideboard real quick before we hop into the matches. Two copies of Dranath Magistrate for Storm or for Cascade if we end up running into Cascade at all. One copy of Fatal Pushes with additional removal, Wear Tear. The third, Flage. Two copies, no, three copies of Nile Spell Bomb and four Damping Spheres. I like how Damping Sphere is pretty versatile against both the Tron matchup and the Storm matchup, so it seems pretty solid. Yeah, I'm sad this list didn't top 8 either. As for the mana base, the only thing really special about the mana base is the 4 Aether Hubs. There's the 1 Arena of Glory to go with the Flages. A couple of Surveillance, the Theater, and the Parlor. Pretty stock. I'm going to discard the Nightmare. is not great. I'll keep this in. Yeah, in theory, I was like, this is going to be great. And I tried it, and I was like, oh, yeah. Right, this is why it doesn't work. Yeah, I got my second factor box today. Pretty excited. I didn't even realize I was going to get, like, two sets of meals over the two weeks. Factor's decent, though. He's plus, even. They revealed Kahira, which kind of makes me want to lead on Ragavan over Goddess Holes. Let's lead on Ragavan and see what happens. Maybe I just want to dash Ragavan in this matchup. Is this from Super Meat Boy? Or is this the Ando's Nye? Or is this Super Meat Boy? Factory is like a food delivery service where they deliver you like frozen meals. Like eight meals a week. And then you just like heat them up and they're already ready to go and they're much fresher than any sort of like prepackaged frozen stuff. Pretty convenient for people who don't shop. Don't have time to go shopping. Yeah, I think it's uh, US only. They might have Factory UK. Somebody, I think last time said they have Factory UK as well. Yeah, you can customize how many meals a week you get, so they I think they start you at 8, but you can go like up to 16, maybe even more than that. Let's shock this in. Here we go, Goddess Holes in the Amped Raptor, see what I hit. Maybe Fable. Another Amped Raptor. That's fine for energy. And now I evoke the solitude. I want to bias Kahira, which tells me I'm probably going to get Wrath next turn. I want to spend some energy. Yeah, maybe I target the Goddess Souls. I can't kill my. Jo I can't flip my Johnny, right? I wish I could flip my Johnny here. Goddess Souls. Okay, they're gonna pitch Solitude here. 
Solitude the Guide of Souls. So I could push six damage here. Probably pretty fine. Yeah, it might be no wrath, huh? Still feel like I'm pretty far ahead if they don't have wrath here. I don't know if I want to commit this to Johnny. I don't think so. I'm not gonna buy Giganta either, because I kinda wanna surveil. Yeah, I think I just passed the turn pretty comfortably here. They might have ring. I have a static prison for the ring. How does party pair it when it has Shuko? That's when it's really time to party. Theater, bin. Lange. Alright, let's static prison the ring so they don't get any more value off of it. Or they just untap and Manama the ring. They might have force negation here. They do not have force negation. Now, do I want to surveil again or do I want to buy Gigantha? I just buy Gigantha. There is an elegant parlor. There's one rack, those one, and there's one elegant parlor. I think I'm gonna hold on to this treasure. Guess I need to like multi spell on the turn. Ah. Uh, it's Lord of the Rings card, the one ring. Yeah, it's gonna drop Flage. Do I give him back the ring? It gives him an extra card, but it lets me save energy. I drew a Flage. I think I pay for this still, though. And play Gigantha. Right. We pass. Blaze to flip the Johnny. Yeah, I could have done that too. That was better. A Johnny Flage flip. Yeah, that might have been the better line here. Verdict, Wrath. I count the Gigantas free anyways, but yeah, I think maybe that was a better line. It isn't too bad for me. This is worse against Verdict, but better against specifically Wrath of the Skies. Well, my elegant parlor got exiled to Amped Raptor. That's what happened to the elegant parlor. Hmm. Counterspell? Do I have any more fetchables? I have one mountain left. Bless. Bless this one mountain. Play Flares in one turn. They're gonna hold up Counterspell for the rest of the time, I feel. I kinda seem to get my damage in where I can. Alright, I'm going to cast Flage every single turn. I think I'll put Flage on top of my deck. Seems like a good place for it. And I'm gonna go to one here. I don't have another fetchable. Means I'm not gonna be able to flash and flash in the same turn. 
Murders are like pretty good against Nadu, and they're also good against Trinisphere from Eldrazi. Get Lord of the Rings card, the One Ring. Going back to hand. I think they might have another subtlety. Yeah, I'm feeling kind of dead here. Cast Flage. Back on top. Some like wear tear on Arena. Take your poisons close. I don't know. I guess Thraben Charm's not too far off. Counter spell. Yeah, this is so sad. And my blood crypt and my elegant parlor's gone. No, oh, we're gonna pass. Oh, I have no fetchables left to get this flage back currently. Very sad. Exile the rest of my graveyard, probably get this countered and lose. Alright, I'll we'll scoop it up. One ring can be a very frustrating card to play against, huh? One ring, good card. I wasn't in any bow matches that game, though. I'm going to go down a couple of discharges here. Maybe just one. So I don't really want anything else in from the board. Yeah. I think I'm just going to make that small change here. Take a third flash to go upstairs. A little bit extra reach. Yeah, I think Boros is like... A little bit more efficient. Bowmaster is pretty good though. So I think Bowmaster is quite good in the current meta. The rest of the black cards, the Nightmare and the Thoughtseize, you could probably do without. I haven't been super impressed with Thoughtseize in this meta either. Feels like most of the top decks are pretty live. Yeah, the Sun Cleanser on the side is really sweet for Wrath. I don't know if I'd bring it in here because my opponent like isn't fully on the energy plan. They're pretty much just playing blue-white. They could easily beat Minsalty and Solitude. The dedicated Jeskai version, though, I would definitely bring Sun Cleanser in. This is a little awkward. We'll try it. Maybe we make them have the prismatic ending of the Solitude on turn one. Yeah, I kind of like Ocelot Pride over Ragavan as well. Ocelot Pride can be very good sometimes. Alright, Solitude, or you're getting smacked, opponent. Solitude. This is a Johnny time then. Play my Nactal. Oh boys. I think holding up the Bow Boys is probably better than casting Fable in the Counterspell here. Casting Fable in the Counterspell doesn't seem great. Alright, now I have nothing but white mana. Which might be a little tough. 7 the Qualifier yesterday? Oh hell yeah. And I think Ossop Pride's pretty dang good. Less bow masters are being played. Because if there's a lot of bow masters, then neither Ragavan nor bow masters, or sorry, no, Ocelot Pride's very good. When bow masters is being played, bow masters is not very good. True, Dingo, true. 
The best answer to Bowmaster is Bowmaster. Also, your mana base being better is pretty important, too. I guess I'm gonna get a Blood Crypt and Thought Seize them this turn. I could also try to resolve Fable. But I think Thought Seizing and Scouting for Wrath is probably more important. I can also buy Jagantha. Counter spell, binding, binding, verdict, the one ring. I'm going to take verdict. They one ring loop me. Say la vie. Yeah, a lot of people were asking me about that deck the other day. They're like, do you think there could be a good... Ocelot Pride plus Bestow Nantuko into Ocelot Pride to make more copies of Ocelot Pride deck. And I'm like, ah, I don't know, to be honest. It's Thought Season. It might counterspell as Thought Season. Trying to stick the ring. Green White seems really fair, though. Yeah, it does get wrecked by Plague Engineer on Insect. Or cat. The Flintstones is a little bit before my time. I've watched a few episodes of the Flintstones, but not too many. Oh, they drew another verdict. Oh. Well, if they ring, and they tap ring, it would be dead to flesh. I'm 25. Born in 98. Good luck targeting them, because they're going to have ring protection every single turn for the rest of the game. Feels bad, man. Alright, well, leave that on top. I'm gonna hold this flash in my hand. All more factor meals to show off? Yeah. The truffle butter pork. It does look pretty good, actually. I smell it. Yeah, it smells good. <laughs> now they're gonna binding the ragster. Oh, that's right, that's my mom. That's my mom. Nope, yep, that's accurate. Beast. Yeah, it's aspiring spike. Alright, well, our hand's pretty good. Aether Gust, Aether Gust, Prismatic Ending, Solitude, Solitude. That's kind of a based hand. I think I'm just gonna take the Prismatic Ending. We have two of the other two, so. Song is pretty groovy. Aether Gust, this one opponent. A Jowny. Do I thought she's. I'm gonna play another Jowny, I could play Goddess Holes into a Jowny. Interesting decision. I think I kind of like Goddess Souls into a Johnny. 
Makes them solid to the Ajani, I think. Hi, Johnny. Yo, Extreme Thief, the 12 months. Appreciate you. Welcome back. Arm plays nothing. Alright, let's take a peep with Thought Season. They have Aether Gust, Aether Gust Unknown. Counter spell was the unknown. I guess I should have bow mastered them actually. So I bow mastered them, then I could have spent the energy on one of these. Sorry, I'll hold the bow master. I'll put a second one on top too. These aether gusts are looking kind of embarrassing for them. How is it? The one ring. The one ring. Alright, well, we'll ping them. Get some energy. It's pretty good against quarter calling. Well, I don't even know. I guess it's fine against quarter calling. What did even say? It's like particularly good. Uh, I think I'm just gonna hold up second bowmaster. Just pass. I flash in the second bowmaster in response to them drawing. Take so much damage. They need board wipe, and if they have board wipe, they also need counter spell. My opponent keeps saying in chat red or green because they have two aether gusts in their hand. This is a lot of damage. I also have to get rid of the ring here. Because the ring is going to kill them, my board's going to kill them, this flage is going to kill them. I don't know what they're supposed to do about this. Red or green? Red or green? As per your Dan. Dies of drawing a card. How could you? Red or green? <laughs> Why is it actually fire? That's unreal. Why'd you think? That's true. Dan's really good. And my opponent's mulliganing to five. So they might be out in storm with the prowess deck. <laughs> yeah, what did we learn? Not to play Aether Gust against Mardu. I think that's what we learned. I've been typically going Guide Souls into Raghavan, but I think I'm gonna try Raghavan into Guide Souls. And Marty Sword, unless you played an awful arc, so I see if this list does better. <laughs> Your wallet won't be. I think there's a good Martyr deck out there. I'm not sure what that Martyr deck is, though. It's She Storm. Thoughtsies. Static Prison? That's actually way better than Thoughtsies. Can we go Guide Souls and then Static Prison and then next turn to Johnny Johnny? Is it Primal Prayers Mardu? Primal Prayers is like the card that flopped the hardest out of MH3 for me. I'm so sad about it. I thought that card was going to be really strong. Just too easy to interact with it for men, I guess. It's 
So I get to play a Johnny, a Johnny Legend Rule. This is Johnny, then Domum. Or maybe they're playing uh, Ragamon. It's just another red permanent. That we can keep, like, doming with a Johnny. Onk. Fly, Ragavan, fly. Take to the skies, buddy. Four. So dead and one is Johnny activation. And on board. So they need to kill me this turn. Good luck, opponent. But I didn't mean it. Don't kill me. Not in the face. At least I get the F6 against them. They have land, ritual, impulse. So they get to keep going at least. Yeah, last match we actually took pretty handily after our opponent had double Aether Gust in hand when he played a single red spell all game. Alright, one game one against Storm. He'd love to see it. Now we just have four copies of Damping Sphere in the sideboard for no reason at all. I want the wear tears too. I take out the nightmares in this matchup. And Dranith. Oh sh yeah, I'm not even gonna board in the wear tears. Honestly, between the Dranits and the damping spheres, we probably have way too much removal. The static prison's also amulet removal, so I think I just take out the value stuff. Take out like the nightmares, the bowmasters. Uh, I don't even think Amp Rapper's that good, but it's fine. We'll leave it in. Maybe one Discharge, because I don't know if killing Rao is super reliable. I, the last time I played Just Guy Wizards was on Friday, Saturday? No, Friday. No, wait, no. Thursday. It was the day before the Pro Tour. Deck feels okay. I guess it's not as good as the Ring version. I really like the Wizards build, though. It's more up my alley than the ring version for sure. But I think it's pretty unanimous that the ring version is just better. Sadly. You like Snappy? Mm, I'm not gonna admit it. You like Snappy, don't you, Dingo? Say it. Jeskai Wizards reminds me of, like, the old Jeskai decks. The ones from, like, 2016 with Snap Helix. This dude likes Snappy. Everybody make fun of him. Quick. Yeah, you had to. It was so important to take the Snapcaster. I'm sorry, Storm opponent. I guess I have like a million cards for this matchup for no reason. Storm opponent, if you're watching this, I would like to sincerely apologize. So I'm about to play a second Dreadeth Magistrate. <laughs> Yeah, I guess this is what happened to Storm at the Pro Tour, huh? Yes, so... You know what? You can have your amulet back. Take it. It's a little gift. It's gonna let Kaz one spell this turn. Fly, Dranith Magistrate, fly. Alright, I already cast one spell this turn, so. Put Jagantha into their hand. Reasonable.
Storm opponent's not happy. I understand Storm opponent. Yeah, Jiggy needs wings. Opponents mulliganing to five. Kaplan pass. Maybe they're playing Belcher. It's Storm again. Ral Reckless Impulse Ruby Medallion. Just taking the Reckless Impulse. Didn't stop him storm enough last time. Didn't want to have to do it, opponent. Let's play Amter Raptor out here. Under Ragma, it's not too shabby. Could easily hit a three drop here, so it's kind of risky. Rattle. Rattle pass. I can attack with both of these. I think this is way better than imprisoning the realm. This just took them off of both of their cost reducers. Let's thought seize them for good measure. Let's have a land in hand. Let's go to wish for. Maybe static prison. Yeah, show our part at the sideboard, then move on to the next round. No kidding. I guess they could wish for a two drop here. Surveilled past in the flames of the graveyard. Now not have enough mana to wish for Flage. They opted not to cast their wish. Hi, Flage. Interesting that they didn't cast the wish. Oh, Ruby Medallion. <laughs> Ooh, mana flesh. Did I have to steal this Ruby Medallion from them? No. Did I anyways? You best bet I didn't. Gemstone, Manamorphose, Dies of Bowmaster. I'm actually the Storm deck, just so we're clear. You did great, Bowmaster. Now get out of my deck. I came here for the Nadu content. You didn't get enough of it this weekend. Uh, probably whenever Wizards gets back from their week-long summer vacation or whatever. I thought they were going to do it today, to be honest. Would have been a beautiful day to wake up and see the bird gone. But hey, here we are. Yeah, I think Weirter is a little bit overkill since we have Static Prison. Ritual. Lelia. Whoa. Sick. Bye, Lelia. I 
Ritual Ren's Resolve. Damp. Yeah, I kept seven. Maybe they kept because of the turn two Lelia. I do like Lelia, though. I think that's sweet. DRC Wish. I don't think I just want to play Amp Raptor out. Amp Raptor into Johnny. I don't have to pay for the static prison, and then I can let the Lelia come back and then snipe the Lelia with a Johnny. Because I can flip it. I could just snipe this DRC. Men's Resolve. Another energy producer would be super nice. That's not like this other static prison. I think I want to pay for this for one more turn. I don't even know if I need to at this point. I think I'm just letting Legend rule this is Johnny. And kill this DRC. And by Jiggy, of course. Because I can't cast Fable. Ah, uh, Storm. Having a bad time, as always. Medallion, Rel. S. Start an Amp Raptor. Otsies. I don't want to cast Thoughtseize. No, I don't think I do. One, two, three, four. If I static prison here and then dome him with a Johnny, I think that's GG. I remember. I was there. Think of guys not always the smartest. Alright, pretty smooth sailing so far. <laughs> For some reason. Do I thought sees on one, or do I got a souls on one? I kind of think I just got a souls on one. Nah, I thought sees. I thought sees for sure. It's gonna be burn. Show me burn. Yeah, Wrath, this guy is amazing. Force negation, pitching ardent plea. I think it might be living end. Oh, the moto feature small break is happening. Yeah, Nadu won the pro tour. Nadu won the pro tour and got second and got third and got fourth. I think I've been that in case of living end. Nautilus Nadu got fifth. Yeah, imagine being the fifth Nadu player who didn't make top four. Embarrassing. I still haven't played against Nadu. It's been two leagues. I guess people really got sick of it. I could also just like kill my God of Souls here. I'm kind of thinking about doing that. Should have attacked first if I was going to do that. 
I guess I'm just going to dome him then. Yeah, I didn't wake up at all. Yeah, living end is always my bane. Luckily, we have magistrate in the sideboard, I guess. Yeah, after I watched day two, I was like, ah, I'm kind of over it. Yeah, we do deflage him twice here. Make some energy go over the top, too. Brick Pass to save the 22 months. I don't know when Elden Ding. It's a good question. Soon, maybe? I was going to do it during the Pro Tour and then it never really happened. Most of the streaming, the Pro Tour part never really happened. All right, well, let's bring back Fleish. Dome him with the Fleish. I don't think I'm in any danger of dying, right? Yeah, I don't think I'm in any danger of dying here. My opponent is, though. I have like Teferi here. Even Teferi's not that good for them. Eggster. I think I'm gonna play Amptraptor here. See if maybe I can hit a Johnny. I will mo Shinderu. Subtlety pitching force negation. Okay. I'm gonna put this on top, I think. Then flying flage. Big flight, flage. Become the insect that you so desperately desire to kill. Fly like insect, die like cat. Blocks. Check it hand, go. It's back up to five. Blocks. Nightmare. This is plus one energy. Yeah, the Amp Raptor plus the Ragavan was super lethal. Granite Magistrate, Nile Spellbomb times a million. I don't think I want Galv Discharge nor Static Prison. Because I'd rather have a Galvanic Discharge over the Static Prison. I think everything else is fine, though. And then we get Nile Spellbombs and Granite Magistrates to hate out the Cascade stuff. Flexlet link is not working on mobile. Let me hit up my boss. George! George, save me, George. Alright, I told him. Same might have been a little too land heavy here. Maybe I want a mulligan for a hate piece. Can you tell me that the MTGO deck list will be back up again? 
soon and everything will be okay. Um, they're never coming back. Wasi's taking summer break and fall break and winter break and spring break. And uh, no, that's it. Nod is also never getting banned. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Ed, Ed will come back the day Nod gets banned. Watsy sounds like Congress. Ah, uh, the one static discharge that I didn't want. Excellent. I mean, this is Johnny's pretty free. Although I'm going to get living ended and lose everything anyways. I don't think I want to spend the energy. And living in wipes my entire board. 07 my board. I haven't even looked at the Assassin's Creed set. I really like the Fatal Push. That was the only thing I've like seen that's... I like the Temporal Trespass also. And Nodern. By board. Can I beat a 7-7 seven, seven and a 2-2? Two, two? Probably not. Smoke Bomb's very flavorful. Not even standard playable. Tough. Tough times for Assassin's Creed. Oh yeah, I saw the triad. Rebirth engine when enters the battlefield, exile a creature cards from your graveyard, tap, exile the top three of your library, four tap, put a creature card, exile the onto the battlefield under your control gains haste until end of turn activate only as a sorcery. That seems a little slow. Cool though. Landscape now do not even in cube. Fuck with my O one. Inflage Fable. Do I want Fable? Yeah, I think I do want Fable, even though they might have force. About them. By being there, it's resolved. Being the 7-7 seven, seven discharge for 6. Yeah, I could have done that. I was probably supposed to do that, actually. Now that you mention it. That's like a block and discharge also. Hmm. Discharge. Don't laugh, Janini. Everybody else can laugh, but not you. Well, I guess I'm discarding these. Dran at the Magistrate. Right on time, buddy. Right on time to get subtle, dude. Served the team. Um. Surveil. I could buy Gigantha. I think surveilling might be better. Because I need to find Flage as soon as possible. I can probably just go grab Elegant Parlor here. 
<laughs> Boy, did I spell that wrong. Bingo needs a new pair of flage. Like seriously, I'm gonna die if I don't draw a flage. Maybe I should have bought it in the other one. I kinda did just solo last game. Six drop. Ent. Oh no. Flage. That's not good enough. Didn't I put you on the bottom that never returned to me again? Alright, go to game three. Outlook Grim. I'm gonna board in the other flage. I already did. Well, I got nothing to do here then. Yeah, that's the third deck for today. So we played Prowess, and now we're playing the Mardu deck, and then we're gonna play the Necro deck, and then if we have time, we'll get to the Blue Black deck. Our deck's been sweet, though. There will be time. We will make time. The back deck is Yuta's deck. Mr. Takahashi. Is it because you own $90 Soul Spike Sploosh? Is that why? Because I know a lot of people are not having fun because they don't own $90 Soul Spikes. Spike. Was you, were you wrong to sell your Fukos? Those are probably fine to sell. Soul Spikes, though. It was prime time for Soul Spike this weekend. I think I attack with both. And then maybe I play Bowmaster on Cat Warrior. And then flip a Jean aim. And zero a Jean aim. And then play Land Pass. Next turn I can play like Fable or Amped Raptor and then have the red permanent. Start doming my opponent that way. Reef pitching architects of will. Do you want my Fable or do you want my Amped Raptor? Takes the Fable. I think I have to get rid of this. So awkward. Just so bad for me if they take my Amp Raptor. Back Bowmaster now. Please. Do a Johnny into zero here. Dock my opponent. Play the nightmare. Get back Bowmaster. Sacrifice Cat Warrior. Flip this Johnny. Keep that one. Bowmaster comes back. Knock my opponent. Zero Ajani. Donk my opponent again. Nah, I don't think there are any other good black energy cards. It's like Gonti's Machinations. 
Not great though. You guys keep the price of Necro low. True. Ajani is busted. No, Nightmare's pretty decent. Nightmare's a good card. I have a winning line this turn. I'm gonna thought sees them. Alright, let's say you dismember Waker Waves Architects of Will. Plus a Johnny face plus Flage face. No. It's not gonna work. Johnny needs a red permanent on the table to do damage. And Flage doesn't stick around as a red permanent. I plus a uh, Johnny it's five damage. I don't think I have a lethal line here. Room to two. Yeah, I guess I plus and then attack with both. I'm pretty sure it's gonna block the three two. I don't see why they wouldn't block here. I don't even think I want to flip this to Johnny either. I think I'm just hang on to this one. Yeah, they're dead didn't Flage coming back. They're dead if they cast Living End. They can't dismember my thingy. I don't think they have an out. They need to, like, Endurance my graveyard. They went to zero to cast dis- or yeah, to cast Dismember. I tried to go to negative two. Yeah, they don't have Endurance plus Living End, looks like. Alright, chat. Prediction time. Will we 5-0? Or sorry, 5-. I'm not gonna kill his Haywire Might. I can bow match the Haywire Might later. We died. This one Haywire Might's gonna kill me. 100 to 0. 20 to 0. Keeper. For being a nerd? Yeah. Birthing ritual and nothing to birth. Land, land, land. Alright. Okay. Minus two HP. Maybe they besage me. Save me Amp Raptor. That's actually pretty dang good. Need to take the birthing ritual. For four turns. I accept. Got endurance. Bye, Bowmaster. If they had endurance, I would have thought they would have main phased it so that way they can birthing ritual and something better. Yeah, they're probably gonna get besaged. But if they besage me, then I get to kill this. Others I want. 
I actually want black white, but I can't afford to get black white here. My sacred foundry's gone. I guess it's red black. Young wolf. Perfect draw against the young wolf. I can't get through this young wolf either, so I'm just gonna play Fable and Pass. The Pendlehaven makes it so I can't really kill it. I'm gonna discard Ragamon and Johnny, maybe. Young wolf kind of busted. I actually don't want to bin a okay now I do want to bin a Johnny. Gonna be a pretty okay nightmare, huh? Kinda just wanna get back another Johnny. So I could get back Bowmaster's target this, force him to use the Pendlehaven, doesn't do much. Bowmaster does not clear the board. Do this, get back the Johnny. I kind of do think I get rid of the innkeeper though. Then send him with these two. Maybe it's better to get rid of the young wolf. Second wolf. I think my opponent's dead. Yeah. Film him with the Ajani. Cycle the Ajani. And dome him again. I don't want Ragavon, that's for sure. Take the extra fatal push. I could take some wear tears for birthing ritual. Extra flay seems nice too. I also go down a fable here, take an extra wear wear tear. A warrior terrier, if you will. I don't really like spell bomb. They might have nightmare. We'll see if they have nightmare. If they have nightmare, then we'll bring in spell bomb. I didn't see any nightmare. Why does this deck have Jagantha? It's just free. Why not? Sometimes you run out of resources in the late game, then you spend three mana to draw a 5 5 for 5, and then you play your 5 5 for 5, and then your opponent can't kill your 5 5 for 5, and they lose the 5 5 for 5. I mean, I grew a prowess deck, could have played a Jagantha, and just chose not to. So, you don't really need it per se. I'm actually going to bin this Bowmaster because I have Nightmare in hand. But I think I'm going to Bowmaster the Servo token. Oh, they gave me free black mana. Let's go. Drolf's Messenger. Yep.
There's a static prison that draws messenger. Let's start this turn on Amp Raptor. Yeah, let's start on Amp Raptor, see what we hit. Not bad. Okay, they're bored. Then go next turn a Johnny Nightmare, sacrifice the token, flip a Johnny, kill something else, get Bowmaster back. This deck's insane. I guess everything that's not Nadu, apparently, according to Ken. That's really good. Mm hmm. Molly of Nadu gets banned. Just kind of sweet. I don't know, I'm not on board with the Night Errands, but I like everything else. Forty seven? That's a lot. I actually didn't know that. Knowledge acquired, I guess. I wanna do this turn. I kinda just wanna play Johnny and ass with wear tear, I guess. It's having like a moral dilemma. What should I do here? If I pass with wear tear, they aren't necessarily gonna deploy the nightmare because I didn't kill anything. Yeah, let me finish this match and I'll actually take a closer look at it. Flip the cat. Maybe I should just flip the cat. I think I'm cord for a million. I haven't tried spikes. Green Eldrazi deck yet, no? Very kind of our opponent to give us black mana. Our opponent, nighty night time. Rooting for the one scales player, I saw he went 1-5 drop and I sold everything. <laughs> yeah, scales is not great. Cord. For three, endurance. Cord for four. We're gonna pick up... Yogmoth. That's fine. Probably gonna kill a jaw name. Mr. Yogg. Big fan. Okay, we're going to start by killing the Bowmaster. I think my response to this is discharge the Yogg. Not with this, though. With this. Kills a Johnny. I'm not even sure this does anything for them. Aside from like make them lose. So I have actual lethal on board right now. Yeah, that, that works. <laughs> not the best. Not the best line, I guess. Oh, hey, we trophied. That's sweet. Pretty cool. Did the five dash. Sweet list. I dig it. 
I was kind of skeptical about the Raghavans over the Ocelot prize, but I think the extra red permanent with the Johnny's flip side was actually really good. Uh, Ken, during the Pro Tour interview, said that Nadu was his worst matchup, and we never ran into Nadu, so I think that was a big uh, contributor to why we 5 0 this league. But either way, this list was really sweet. I enjoyed it. We'll play more of it later. I have a channel point redemption for opening the chest, so I don't open chests myself. Yeah, I mean, Ragavan doesn't feel good in a lot of matchups, but the extra red permanent does feel pretty good. Not have a bad matchup? Not really. Yeah, no, not really. Yeah, MTGO inherently hates Unnadu players because it forces them to play the Thassa's Oracle anyways. Uh, you can... Static Prison kills the Sun Cleanser, still. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third-rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>